All right, how to video on how to build LinkedIn auto like. So this one took me a little bit of time to figure it out, uh, but we got it going. So let me trigger it first just to show you the end result. And then I'll start from the beginning to build out this automation for you. So right now it's going to navigate through some of the login steps here. And so I'll just pause real quick. Okay, this navigated to contact here and you can see down here it's going to click like. I do have three like steps built in. I did have to recapture this step uh, a few times. That, that person only had one post to like. This person has no activity. <clears throat> to figure out what is the best like button to capture. So luckily found it Took some time, but we got it done. So really quick though, pay attention to this URL and how it's navigating. So this is this no con this is a uh, contact not found, and they complete after this. I'm only looping through a few rows. So as you can see here, I have three different click steps, like steps built in, just in case they have three different posts. Um, and that's only available for the contacts that are going to be available. So here's what I did <clears throat> to build this flow. You're going to want to find a page um, that has, and pull this up because we're going to navigate directly to this URL, but find a contact page. doesn't matter if you follow them, um, but find a contact page that has a that you want to find an activity page, forward to an activity page, and it has a few posts that you can go in and like to capture during your automation. So this guy <clears throat> has a couple different posts, and so I can capture these steps and navigate to this when I go to build the automation. So the other thing we're going to want to do is uh, you're going to want to, when you scrape the steps, you're going to want to remove the space between the first and last name because we're going to include that in the navigate step. So let me show you an example here. Okay, so you can see in column B, my first and last name are split and that's how it was originally pasted from the automation when we scrape these contacts. So what I can do is click command shift H and then what I can do is add a space and replace all, which will then remove the spaces for each one of those. We're going to need those spaces to add as a variable when we are um, including a URL navigate step. And I'll show you what I mean. When we are going to a, we're navigating to a new LinkedIn page, uh, every LinkedIn page, we'll go to this one, has activity on it. You can see it has www.linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the first and last name, which is why we want the first and last name without a space and then forward slash recent hyphen activity forward slash all forward slash and this is the same url for every contact except for the first and last name and so if they have a different first and last name then it's going to show up as four four not found but so far this is the most effective way i found to build this automation so let's get into it let's build it from scratch click add new automation and capture steps. Then we'll go to linkedin.com. To log in, I'm going to pause the automation while I log in here. All right, logged in. Once I'm logged in, I'm going to go to the URL page. I'm going to copy this URL, go to LinkedIn page I already had pulled up with the multiple posts I want to like to capture the steps. Copy the URL replace the URL, <clears throat> and then I'm going to let this load, take your time. Now, pay close attention here. So I have three different elements that I can click. I can click the thumbs up, I can click the like, I can click this full square. What I've found so far is that if you click the full square, that's the best way to capture the like step. I've tested the, the thumbs up, I've tested the like, uh, this like element and find by text and it just wasn't as efficient as selecting this entire box. So I'm gonna select the entire box. 
my stuff is captured. And by the way, my tray is over here on my, uh, my primary window. So you can see I captured the, the like step and I'm going to capture two more. So I got my first one, second, and I'll capture, capture one more, third, cool. So in my tray, I have three different like steps, all the steps that I need for uh, at this point with automation. So I'm going to click end automation. <clears throat> Make sure to name it in case you have to refresh. Yeah. Alrighty. So, so far what it's going to do is click where to type in my pass, my username, click where to type in my password, sign in. And, and this is where I'm going to add a navigate step. And I have my three like steps. So the skeleton of the first draft of the automation for lack of a better term here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to add and connect my worksheet so I can add a navigate step and then add the variables. I'm going to select a trigger, set up trigger. I'm gonna use loop through data trigger. Yes, I'll set up and connect the spreadsheet. <clears throat> and uh, let me connect this spreadsheet here. And then I can select which sheet I want to use. So what sheet do I want to use? I'll use this new one I just created for this tutorial, sheet two. And it looks good. And I want to make sure I select my starting row. So I'll select starting row three. And I'm going to have it loop through five times just for testing. And if I, if, again, if you wanted to schedule this to run, you can select the trigger and the schedule you want it to run at, enable time constraints and set that up however you'd like. <clears throat> if you want to run it and turn it on automatically to run it off of your desktop. So from here, what I'm going to do is add in the navigate step. Now that I have my sheets connected, I'm going to add my navigate step. So I want to navigate directly to each one of those contacts activities activity page after I sign in. So I'm gonna click the add button, add URL. So this is not this is where I'm not going to select just the variable here because each one of these variables in this sheet doesn't give me enough information to, I don't have enough data to get to the right page. So I'm just going to essentially just copy, just copy what's here, except I'm gonna replace the first and last name. Because what I found when testing this and building this that everything in this URL is the same except for that first and last name. So I'll just type in HTTPS. And then I'm going to use a variable of names. So this is where I've re removed the space in between the first and last name. And then I'm going to just copy the rest of this. So after the first name, I could have copied more, but I like it. Okay. Cool. Besides that, should be good to go. Um, we could add delay steps after it signs in and then after it navigates just to give it more time to load. And, and uh, oh, not good to go. I need to adjust my loops. So again, I want this to navigate starting with uh so after the first loop so the, remember the first time it on the first loop with the first row it's going to log in and navigate through these steps when it comes to loop to the next row so when it comes to like my next contact i want it to start i don't want it to start at the beginning of my automation with the login i want it to start with the navigate step so i'm going to move my starting loop to step six and the end of my loop will be step nine and the loop through step six and nine, five times. And let me just refresh this. We squashed a good amount of bugs with, especially with the loop steps, but yeah, looking good. All right, I'm gonna trigger this. And so you're going to see, since I recently logged in, it's going to navigate through these login steps. All 
My navigate step is step eight, so you're going to see it's not changed until or step six. So I noticed automation did something a little bit different. It typed in the typed in LinkedIn.com twice. So I would just test and see if it repeats it. But here we go. We're on the second loop now. The first loop, the first row did not have any posts to like. Uh, the second row does have some posts to like. I might even add a little bit of a delay in between each of these likes as well. But you can see that it was starting to like some of those posts. Now, if it's likely not going to navigate to one of these um, pages with this version of the automation, if they have some type of extra letter in their uh, some type of extra letter in their <clears throat> automation. So um, I'm sorry, in their URL. So let's keep that in mind. So it has to match exactly to navigate to that URL. I might add in some delay steps. So I've seen that it was navigating pretty quickly through those um, like steps. So I might add that in to get some some better execution with the automation, but that should point you in the right direction and get auto like built. And then from here, you can optimize it. I'm gonna, this is going to be posted on YouTube. Feel free to comment in the uh, comment on this video and let me know if you found a, a better version of this.